Welcome to your market update and charts of the day. It's Mike Smith, senior analyst from Go Markets on the 23rd of February 2024, leading you around what's happening in markets today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, overnight, US markets closed higher as sentiment was buoyed by the NVIDIA results that smashed earnings expectations. So the Dow and the S&P 500 hit record highs and the NASDAQ is nearly there also, which was the outperforming index up almost 3%. US futures are pretty flat in earlier Asian trading, but Asian markets are following that strong US lead. ASX is a bit choppy this morning, but up 0.4% nevertheless. European equity futures are pointing to a positive open this afternoon. The US dollar index continued its weakness and it is now sitting on support at the bottom of a short-term range. Gold is still edging higher towards that important 2030 level and we saw another strong session of copper to move price towards that next key level at 392 or moves through the 200 EMA and is testing resistance again from a short-term range. Bitcoin, however, hasn't shifted all week. It's still in a very tight trading range around 52,000. Could go either way. Of course, we are right at the back end of earnings season and we haven't got much data to discuss today. We do have German GDP, which of course may impact the euro. The Fed monetary report release is unlikely to move markets significantly as most of what the Fed thinks at this stage is already telegraphed fairly clearly out to the market. Let's have a look at a couple of charts that caught our eye today. We're going to start with Sigma Healthcare on the ASX, code SIG. And you can see this was a very, very positive earnings candle here, but then we saw that pullback, some significant profit taking. The buyers have been back in really for most of February and now we're moving back over this level we saw a pause that was almost an ascending triangle type pattern underneath 109 we've broken through that today we are trading at the high of the session and a move up to 125 looks as though it could be on the cards that's obviously a very significant move to the upside if it gets anywhere near there of around about 12 and a half percent but one to watch certainly to see where it closes at the back end of the Asian session the Euro Aussie is probably the FX chart of interest at this stage. We are seeing some weakness in the Euro with Aussie strength across most currency pairs. Uh, you can see this S1 pivot here just sitting around this 164.62 level. This was tested multiple times during the course of the last few days. And so a breach of that would be significant and possibly result in a move down to this S2 pivot around about 164.20. We just look on a 30 minute chart you can see the price action today so we'll probably look for a move beneath 164.60 trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now